In our previous lesson, we learned how to use event blocks, action blocks, and value blocks to write some eggy code that creates a strawberry cupcake at eggy of player one's position. What if we want the creation of the strawberry cupcake to have a precondition when grabbing? For that, we need to learn about control blocks and condition blocks discussed today. Control blocks can manage the flow of actions, such as the if else block, which adds a precondition to the execution of an action. When an event is triggered, the system will check if the precondition is met, thereby producing different branches of action. We use if else to add a conditional judgment to the action of creating a strawberry cupcake. It is obvious that the gap also needs a different type of block. The condition block, representing a specific condition, will provide a basis for judgment in the form of a bool. When we use it, we assume that it represents a condition that is true. In our case, we use object exists as the condition for creating a strawberry cupcake. So the eggy code means, when the eggy grabs, if the ball light is present, create a strawberry cupcake in eggy of player one's position. Otherwise, do nothing. Object exists refers to whether this object exists in the entire map. So we can create a strawberry cupcake while grabbing when there is a ball light in the map. We set a lifespan for the ball light unit in the map and then observe the effect through playtest. It can be seen that we can create a strawberry cupcake when grabbing while the spherical lamp exists, and we can't create a strawberry cupcake when grabbing after it is destructed. Here, we have learned how to use if else through examples. Controlling the execution of actions is based on judging if conditions are met, which can result in various outcomes. Next, let's see how other common control blocks affect the execution of actions. Using the repeat block allows actions to be executed multiple times. For example, create three strawberry cupcakes after triggering here. Using the traverses array or traverses int block, elements in the array can perform this action sequentially. By traversing all players, we can create a strawberry cupcake at each traversed eggy's position on the map. Using subtrigger, a new trigger is generated after the action is performed. If we set the event in the subtrigger as player 1e's eggy jumps, then after eggy grabs, a strawberry cupcake will be created every time eggy jumps. Using executes timer or executes frame timer, the action of creating a strawberry cupcake can be changed from immediate execution to waiting for one second or one frame before execution. In the use of condition blocks, there is a very important concept called Boolean. When we write eggy code and see the condition block describing what the specific condition is, but when the eggy code runs, it actually outputs a type of data called Boolean. Boolean represent the true or false state of things. Suppose we ask the system, is this eggy red? The answer to this question can only be yes or no, true or false. In eggy code, we also use Boolean to represent the true or false state of things. When the condition is met, that is, the thing is true, the Boolean is on. When the condition is not met, that is, the thing is false, the boolean is off. Because boolean can be used to express the truth of things, we can also use the calculation of boolean to make more complex logic judgments. Not is mainly used to take the opposite meaning, when a condition is not met, it outputs a true boolean. For example, if 8 equals minty has not participated in a ranked party today, then the not 8 equals minty has participated in a rank party today or means that among a bunch of conditions, as long as one is met, the output boolean is true. For example, in a duo ranked party, if Yegi or Rocky in the same T survive to the end in the survival, they can both pass and means that when all conditions are met, the output boolean is true. As long as one does not match, the output boolean is false. For example, Bulu and Rosie team up, 
Only when both Bulu and Rosie agree to participate in the duo-ranked party can they enter the party. Besides the logical judgments mentioned above, there are some condition blocks we often use. First is the compare block which can not only be used to compare numerical values, but also determine if objects are the same. Then there's the key value exists block that can check if a specific object has a key value, allowing us to create custom filtering conditions. Finally, the array contains element block can determine if a specific object exists within an array. We can use it to determine whether a player belongs to a certain faction or if a unit is an entity of a specific prefab.